When Frank Charnock first set foot on Australian soil in 1961, the nation's property investment industry was non-existent. Building and rent controls imposed during the Second World War had taken their toll. Superannuation was confined to the public sector and not one pension fund was empowered to invest in property. Few companies understood the concept of property as an asset class. Instead, property belonged in the miscellaneous column along with office furniture. Into this immature property landscape entered a seasoned professional with a razor-sharp business brain, an uncanny ability to pick emerging markets and property cycles, and a passion for people. Three decades later, the longtime CEO of Jones Lang Wooten, now JLL, had professionalised an entire industry. And he had unlocked the flow of institutional wealth into property, including the various large UK-based institutions that helped build prosperity for generations of Australians. Born in Leicestershire, England, Frank qualified for membership in the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, a rare profession in Australia's nascent property industry. Recruited in 1961 by Jones Lang Wooten, the first global property services firm to establish operations in Australia, Frank's first job down under was project manager of Warringah Mall, the largest shopping centre in the country. Together with his longtime colleague John Robinson, Frank pioneered Australia's retail leasing system and developed a template that is used by many large shopping centre owners to this day. Well, it was certainly pioneering stuff. Uh, Jones Lang, Wooten as we then were, was the first global property firm to establish in Australia. In so doing, uh, and particularly with Frank's leadership, we brought capital and expertise to Australia. And Australia as a very mature and world-leading property sector has never looked back. He's very interesting and um, very cerebral. So it's not like sort of meeting a sort of glad-handed, glad how are you kind of chap, you know. But uh, it, it was um, very good to see someone that was strategically thinking about the company. John Stang was known to be the powerhouse in property research during that period. And I think without Frank's backing, we wouldn't be able to achieve a lot of the things we did at the time. A great industry contributor, Frank was a foundation member of the Building Owners and Managers Association, which would later evolve into the Property Council of Australia. His first assignment? To come to grips with a committee trying to standardise methods of measuring buildings. Frank brought together architects, planners, agents and developers to hammer out a standard for net lettable area. A natural organiser and manager, Frank was also a driving force behind BOMA's first property congress in 1977. Later, as BOMA's national president, Frank helped to attract the biggest names in property to join the association. But arguably Frank's greatest achievement was his work to build a base of homegrown industry talent. Together with his compatriots at BOMA, Frank spent nearly three decades convincing universities to offer degrees in property economics. I was called into his office probably within the first week of joining Jones Lang, I was about 19. And he sat me down, he was smoking his pipe as he did in those days. What he was trying to say to me was um, that I needed to work very hard, that it was a wonderful opportunity I'd been given as uh, I was the first female employed in commercial leasing in those days and do my best because the best thing was to give the clients the best outcome we possibly could. When I joined Jones Lang in 1977 we'd come out of the recession of the early and mid 70s. Frank had decided that they would start hiring staff again. That really set up Jones Lang Wooten in the 1980s to be a a leading firm in the Australian property markets. Frank's sage advice to institutional investors and developers helped to shape the skylines of Australia's cities. This included many of Sydney's tallest buildings, including the AMP Centre, the MLC Centre, Grosvenor Place and Goldfields House. 
Frank's advice was backed by a powerful research department, the first in the country. Frank knew his team needed reliable data for decision making. Importantly, Frank's willingness to share this data with the industry was at the heart of BOMA's and today the Property Council's ability to influence. But Frank's greatest legacy was his work to change the mindset of a generation. Property, once a sideline, became a profession and a vehicle to prosperity for many Australians. He always had the, the lightest of touch. He, he was much more of a chairman than an active manager. And so he would rather sort of let you get on with it for a while. And then uh, when he wasn't sure you were going the right way, he'd be like a border collie and he'd nudge you in a certain direction. When there was an opportunity for Frank to visit Brisbane, I volunteered to collect him at the airport one day. And the half hour drive back into the city was the best half hour I'd had for years in terms of learning so much. Through the 1970s and 1980s, Frank was a leading force of Australian property. Frank's dream had been to create a full service property agency in Australia, working across all sectors and underpinned by rigorous research. Applying deep thinking and analysis, Frank picked emerging markets and cycles, championing cross-border investment. After growing JLL's business by 700%, Frank returned to the United Kingdom to lead the company's endeavours on the global stage. Frank left behind more than 800 Australian colleagues and another 800 scattered around Asia in offices pioneered under his leadership. His contribution to the Australian property industry is enduring. His name remains synonymous with integrity, professionalism, strategic smarts and bold actions that have shaped and will continue to shape our industry for years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please join the Property Council of Australia in honouring Mr Frank Charnock, 2018 inductee to the Australian Property Hall of Fame. I really do wonder where the industry would be without the wonderful work you did for the many decades that you contributed to Jones Langwilton. Frank, congratulations on your extraordinary contribution to the property industry in Australia. Thank you so much for helping to pioneer our industry. Thank you so much for setting up Jones Lang Wooten to become JLL. We couldn't and wouldn't have done it without you and we're very, very grateful. I'm sure that those who are no longer with us, like Beryl and Jenny Thompson, would be very proud of you and indeed in their own participation in your success.